John, one of the things we talked about was the, uh, the importance of uh, world experiences for our, our students. And uh, what do you see the, the, the position that WJ needs to take as we move forward to make sure that we're a small liberal arts college in southwestern Pennsylvania, to make sure our students really understand the global experiences that are out there and how they integrate into that global world that they're about to enter yeah. into? So the small liberal arts college in southwestern Pennsylvania must be a doorway to the world. Sometimes we think it just means study abroad. And that was kind of a classic understanding of if you want to have a global experience, you've got to go somewhere. I still think that's crucially important, but it's hard for every student to do that for a variety of reasons, some financial and some other, other reasons. It also involves not just outbound students, but inbound students, uh, finding ways to attract international students to the college in larger numbers. We're seeing more opportunity than than we imagined in the past with technology, um, where we have relationships with, say, institutions abroad. We might have a long-standing partnership with an institution in Morocco or Spain or somewhere, or maybe over in China, where they can learn in concert with students in a classroom elsewhere in the mm -hmm. world in real time and have that interaction and begin to have conversation uh, with others uh, you know, without leaving the campus. So I think the idea is a more holistic approach, integrating the global perspective into the student experience in every way that we can, and recognizing that to the extent possible, students having an opportunity to learn what it's like to leave their own country continues to be a very important thing in a world that's increasingly global and mobile, and uh, beginning to understand how to create those cultural competencies by uh, having our students intentionally placed in experiences where they actually have to make themselves the outsider mm -hmm. and recognize what it's like um, to not always be in the comfortable majority, which many of our students have been in for their whole lives. Sure.